What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be hooking up, testing, and reviewing the 10 inch dual subwoofer with built in amplifier. Also, I'll be showing you guys the 6.5 inch four way 160 watt door speakers. Stay tuned. Warning this is how I personally complete each project. I do have some mechanical and electrical knowledge. Use this video at your own risk. I am not and will not be responsible for any damage that may occur while you attempt to repeat as I do. Always follow all manufacturer warnings and instructions. Consult a professional if you are unsure. Daddy Gville's World. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be hooking up this 10 inch dual subwoofer with built in 300 watt amp. And I will be using this 270 watt wiring kit. Okay, before you go ripping open that wiring kit, figure out where through your firewall you want to run your hot wire. Also, it will be the last wire you hook up during this process. And do not run it through your fender and door gap. I've seen many people over the years do this and it bites them in the butt in the long run because you could pinch the wire and cause yourself many other problems and never run it underneath your vehicle. Now, for myself, I'm removing my overflow box and I'm running it through the grommet where my antenna is so I can keep everything on my passenger side. Now, I push the antenna grommet out of my firewall to make it easier for me. You don't have to do this. But next, take a punch or a screwdriver and push it through the rubber, wringing out a hole big enough to feed the wire through. Next, tuck it behind the kick panel. Then, tuck the wire under the kick plate. You can remove the screws to make it easier, but my truck is 24 years old with original hardware. So I gently pried up on it to tuck the wire under. Next, grab your blue wire out of your kit and feed it up behind the dash. Then, find your remote turn on wire. Now a lot of people just take both wires, twist them together, and put tape around it. I don't do that. Myself, I cut the wire a little longer, I'll twist it, I'll fold it in half, and then I'll put the male or female connector on it. Once the connector is secure, plug it in and wrap tape around it. Once everything is hooked up, Repeat the process you did with the hot wire, behind the kick panel and under the kick plate all the way to the rear. Next, grab your composite wires and run them up behind your dash. Then on the back of your stereo, look through your female RCAs for the ones that say sub or subwoofer. Once plugged in, repeat the steps you did with the hot and remote turn on wires. Now on to the speaker. I got tools and other crap in my back seat, so I'm going to show you how to hook it up here so you can see it. Here's your harness, you've got your RCAs, your ground, your remote turn on, your hot, now plug it in. Again, blue is the remote turn on, black is your ground, red is your hot wire, now plug in your RCAs. And I'm taking both remote wires and making them one with male and female ends. Once both ends are secure, push them together and tape it. Then do the same for the hot wire. On the ground wire, twist both of them together. Get a sleeve and crimp it on one side. Get your ground wire out of your kit. Now I drilled a hole bigger so I can fit a bolt through it. Because it's going underneath my rear seat where my jack used to be. Now push the wire into the sleeve and crimp it down. Then bolt or screw the ground directly to metal. Once this is all done, hook up the hot wire to the positive side of your battery.
Alrighty, that's that. Uh, it was distorted a little bit because the microphone on my phone. It does actually sound pretty good for you know the seventy something dollars that I paid for it. Uh, you know, but none of it was set. It was straight out of the box. Hooked it up, turned it on. You know, turned the subwoofer on in the stereo. Sends it to power. You know, uh, you know it is pretty good for what it is. Now, is it mind-blowing? No. You know, I had mind-blowing systems back in my youth in my other trucks. Now, this one is like, it's my daily truck and my family rides in it, you know, all that. I don't want, and plus I'm almost 40 years old, you know. I don't want mind-blowing bass because, you know, it does cause hearing damage. Trust me, I know. But other than that, you know, it is what it is. Nothing was set. Uh, I do have it preset now. I've got the bass and everything turned halfway. And it does sound pretty good with regular, you know, style music. I listen to rock. And Wanda listens to rap music. So when she puts on her music and she turns it above 20, I mean, it, it really distorts the sound because of how I have it set up. Because I have it set up for, like, you know, rock music, pretty much. But, you know, other than that, it's pretty good for what it is. Uh, you know, that's it, guys. See you in the next video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss a video.